Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside Procurement, the Smart Cube's video forum examining the concepts and ideas that influence procurement and supply chain executives both today and tomorrow. In our last episode, we started the conversation about establishing and increasing procurement's credibility within the organization, a topic that's become more and more prominent as the sophistication of the procurement function has grown over the last 10 to 15 years. We talked about how and why the issue of procurement's credibility has become particularly important today and discussed some of the key contributing factors. We then introduced intelligence as the galvanizing force, the essential ingredient that really turns the credibility dial up and shared examples across marketing and legal services of how solid intelligence can change the game on the issue of credibility. In part two today, we'll continue that conversation with one more practical example of how intelligence can play a critical role in driving credibility. We'll then close out the discussion with some parting thoughts on the types of intelligence we should be going after. And finally, the telltale signs that will indicate that you've achieved a solid measure of credibility with your stakeholders. Let's start with our third and final example on risk. One of the most prominent operations and procurement issues these days is supplier risk analytics and its resultant and potentially debilitating impact on the supply chain. The issue of risk these days is about so much more than simply having alternative suppliers and being able to switch when ready. It's far more nuanced than that. The progressive procurement professional has to be able to speak the language of finance, coupled with that of corporate strategy, to be able to analyze and assess the many aspects of risk across the entire category and across multiple levels within the company. They have to not only understand the makeup and nature of the value chain for the category, but also the associated inherent risk factors at each step across the value chain. These risks are multifaceted from geopolitical to social to regulatory to economic and more. Procurement professionals also have to be able to gauge risk levels across their supply base, both within and across categories as a whole. They have to be able to collate, compile, and analyze multifaceted data across many different parameters for each supplier and be able to assess the risk levels of each supplier on some sort of a transparent, helpful rating scale. Procurement professionals also have to be able to deep dive into the riskiness of specific suppliers as and when necessary. They need to go beyond the snapshot nature of credit reports to analyze their business stability, including what the life of this supplier looks like and how sustainable their business model is. They need to be able to tear apart the financials of the supplier and gauge that supplier's financial viability across a host of critical parameters. Of course, you're not going to do this for every single supplier, but you have to for your most strategic, most critical ones. It's an imperative, and intelligence and insight is essential to be able to do so. If you can understand and articulate the risk parameters for a specific category that you're dealing with, and do it clearly and coherently within the context of the business stakeholders' needs to the point where they get how that translates to their business and the impact on that business, you'll be more credible and more accepted. If your analysis allows them to function better, more safely, and with less risk of disruption, and they understand the path you laid out for them to get there, then you're not simply another department that they have to work with, you're a true business partner. Hopefully that makes sense and that I've been able to make my point loud and clear. Intelligence is essential to the credibility of the procurement function. And that intelligence is more than simply data, it's more than simply technology. Both of those are helpful, but they're only a means to an end. At the end of the day, your power with your stakeholders comes from information that you and they can do something with, whether that's to communicate, to motivate, or to change someone or something or some process in some way. The traditional approach to getting this intelligence has been to rely on experience to inform decision making. Others have gone a step further and armed their category leaders with information databases and self-service tools. These are useful add-ons for sure, but they're honestly still only part of the solution. They might have been acceptable in the past, but what's happened in the environment surrounding procurement and corporations as a whole has changed all of that. Forces such as globalization and supply market consolidation, greater market complexity, increased competitiveness in almost every industry, as well as the emerging interplay with other corporate functions, be it finance or legal or marketing or HR or otherwise, and the move to a customer stakeholder mindset demands a much more disciplined, much more rigorous approach. Add to that the fact that 
as I mentioned earlier, the procurement talent pool and its available resources, its tools, its technologies have been completely transformed. Not only are high caliber individuals taking on the procurement challenge, but the supply market supporting and enabling the function has grown and developed in leaps and bounds. The implication is really very simple. Procurement's credibility is driven by the quality, depth, and applicability of the intelligence that the procurement executive has at her disposal. It's the key enabler of the success of the function and a central force in being able to achieve the organization's operational goals. Integrating this type of robust intelligence into everyday category management operations requires a diligent, structured approach that involves a host of factors, from having the right information sources to acquiring the right skill sets to partnering with the right external vendors and much, much more. In other words, the data that you get from internal sources, from your tools and your technologies, the data that you get from external sources, whether it's Google or through databases, must be tailored to the situation at hand, the questions that you're asking, the issues that you're specifically grappling with. The information has to be custom in nature. And then, and only then, does it become true insight, intelligence that allows you to move the ball forward and drive real material change. Then and only then can the procurement function realize and deliver on its real and full potential. All right, one last point before we go. How do you know when you have credibility with your stakeholders? What are the telltale signs that you've done the right things and that you've achieved that level of trust with your business partners? Well, first let me start by saying that I don't think you can ever feel as if you've made it. Credibility is built on trust, and you always have to be proving yourself your value and your worth. So the first step is to see achieving credibility as a process. It's an ongoing journey, and one that you have to progress with at different speeds and at different levels with each different category. That being said, I do believe that there are signs you can watch out for. Do your stakeholders engage you early in the sourcing process, or are you simply called when it's time to issue the PO? Are you constantly finding rogue spend in different parts of the organization when really the spend responsibility should be under you? Do your stakeholders reach out to you when grappling with key business issues and problems? Are you engaged proactively in the innovation process, either by product or by function? There are many other questions like this, but here's what it fundamentally boils down to. Is your opinion being sought out by your business stakeholders and counterparts? Do they come to you when it's time to make a decision or when it's time to implement their strategy or when it's time to resolve a crisis or move the needle in any way? If the answer is yes, then you're well on your way. Okay, that's our discussion on establishing and reinforcing procurement's credibility. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to hear more from us, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to reach out, email us at info at This was Inside Procurement.